Hi Capricorns, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Yes it is. We're going to try to focus this week on your person's desires, true, true desires and feelings towards you and your connection. We're also going to do Sarah Marchetti's decks this week. We're using Terra Grand Lux, Oracle of Visions, and we'll be using Merc X's Oracle deck. Conversation is going to be with the Big Mama deck. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Capricorns this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. See what's going on with your person. Now forgive Pup. He's in the room, so he's making some noises in the background. Capricorns, let's see what's going on. Capricorn, Capricorn. Ooh, pop. Right here. Ow, we got somebody that knows exactly what they want now. Yes, determination and standing firm and going one direction in this connection. Let's find out what else will come out. For my Capricorns. Ooh, determination not to be knocked off course of what the, what it is they're wanting to manifest. What else? Bring it out for us. Mmm, right here. We've got obsession. I'm obsessed with you and our memories is almost killing me. Ooh. Ooh can't get you off their mind and they... Ooh, that one flew out. Uh can't quit thinking about you no matter how much they try and whatever the direction is they're wanting to go then we got escapism i'm constantly distracting myself to relieve the pain of my reality let's see if there was anything else because they are like <laughs> trying to distract what they're obsessing on pop karmatic love this love is too painful to keep holding on to Ow, obsessing, mm -hmm. but they've got a determination not to give up, even though they're trying to um, distract themselves. And guys, they may, you know, y'all know escapism, y'all know what that is. But it's, yeah, twin flame friction definitely with my Capricorns this week because uh, all logic goes out the window, no matter how determined. Your brain is to tell you be logical, be sensible, uh, stop, <laughs> go this way, go go a different direction. Your heart will not let you, and you cannot explain it nor understand it. It's just your heart, your heart's determination is overriding. With this person, they definitely we've got twin flame friction going on. It's very painful. We're going through a friction time right now. And this person, their brain telling them, give up. <laughs> Do something different. Leave it behind you. Put it in the past. But they can't do it. And can't explain to themselves. It's illogical. They're like, what, what the hell is wrong with me? Ooh, let's get them talking, guys. Let's get them talking. Ooh, just know that might be mirroring for both of you. Because, like I said, twin flame friction is a mirroring Till we get it. <laughs> yeah, till we both get it. Yeah. Talk to us. Can't pop. Ooh, patience with frustration. Yes, Seven of Pentacles. That is a, a card about investing time and energy, trying to make something, um, bring something to, you know, fruition, you know. But there's a lot of frustrations. Yeah, you know, your brain isn't going, is this really worth all my time and energy? Is it ever going to happen? That kind of thing. Uh, so, yeah. Let's keep going here. Temperance, trying to do the alchemy. Uh, moderation of all things. And like I said, this person, we're picking, I'm picking up the shadow on these two cards. As a, as a, uh, temperance is Sagittarius energy. 
But it is questioning, why do I keep doing this? Why do we keep doing this? And then we have an Ace of Swords energy. Communications may be strained right now. Um, difficult. But it's also trying to get, listen to your head in, instead of your heart. Uh, trying to be logical about things. Hmm. New ideas, fresh new life. But change your way of thinking. Get the victory over it. Talk to us. Talk to us more on that. Because they're just retro-rating what we've already picked up. Of, yeah. They don't know why, but they just can't give up on this connection right now. Phew, seven of Wands. We definitely, that's a card of valor. Sometimes, you know, it has us standing up for ourselves. Protecting our heart, protecting our stance, you know, our beliefs and things. But uh, Valor also puts us into wanting to protect someone else. I got a feeling we are, if we're mirroring, we are both blocking each other. We're battling against each other in this connection right now. Trying to defend ourselves and our points of views. Let's keep, keep on talking here. Six of Wands. Ooh, Six of Wands. Mm. Normally, a victory card is a card of gratitude. It, it, uh, you've got an achievement. You've progressed forward. But it, the card tells you to be grateful to those that have helped you. But it's a Leo energy. It's a spotlight energy. And then the shadow side of that, it can make you feel like all eyes are on you. <laughs> and there's some expectations and pressure being put on you for something. Mm-hmm. New love. Ah, Ace of Cups. Ooh, for somebody out there that has something to do with children. Because that's the first thing that popped was children, children. Being in, feeling pressured into children. And yeah, babe in love. <laughs> yes. That's our page of pentacles, and that's a standstill energy. So we are at a standstill when it comes to progressing forward together. It has to do with love. It can be any kind of commitment, something that should be fulfilling on an emotional level. Uh, some One of us or both of us are standing at that standstill energy going, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it yet. i got to get clear about something. So, yeah, trying to think things through and be very practical. Before we advance forward, keep going here. Talk to us. We've got subconscious fears coming in, Capricorn. That's our moon. And it also can, the moon can also represent patterns that, um, where we're being triggered in, you know, pattern behaviors and triggers. What else is standing with it? Ooh, the star card. Star card. We're definitely fearful about moving forward. Uh, and needing to build, because we're at standstill, somebody is needing to build faith, but also the vision to have faith and trust that things would work out well going forward. Things are moving too fast with that Eight of Wands. Ooh, and then we got the Empress, and that Empress is that divine, mothering, nurturing energy, guys. She also amplifies it. It's, it's, it's bringing me back to where I'm picking up. There's a decision that needs to be made about either starting a family or the desire to start a family. One may want and feel ready to step into that, and the other person may be like, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Let's uh, pull on our Empress because, you know, she brings life and vitality and abundance to things. Let's see what the abundance is That because things are moving fast, too fast. Let's see what the abundance for this person is. What is it bringing in? And it can be something good or bad. <laughs> yes. Something overwhelming. Oh, we got a page of cups. I'm feeling emotionally vulnerable right now and i'll say the fact that we're picking up all these pages is telling me this person does not feel uh ready to step into move things up in the connection to ascend to higher levels in the connection they're just not sure about committing to something like that and if they're ready mature enough to handle that we got a devil card yeah capricorn Ugh. dang so yeah 
freeing herself from, um, ooh, it, bring, it popped me right back up here to the escapism, freeing herself from inner demons, things like that. So, yeah, it's an oppressive energy. So, this person most definitely is having a hard time with uh, the desires, want, us wanting to go into a, you know, take things to a higher level in this connection. And like I said, with all these pages and stuff, this person is feeling, um, how do I put it, inexperienced, not, uh, not mature enough, uh, not ready, I need more time before we make a decision to uh, step into something a little bit heavier and more adult like in this disconnection i hate saying i hate using that word guys but this is what's coming to me uh, adult like because uh yeah and, it, and it, a lot of it has to do with um especially for someone in particular uh, starting a family uh children something like that stepping into something extremely uh, we've got to commit to it and it's long term be responsible bottom of the deck we've got slow moving virgo energy all oh, night of pentacles and i'll oh, having a lot of stress and anxiety about things needing things to slow down a little bit and ten of swords they're just yeah, with this Ten of Swords, this could be their own thoughts, them battling against their own thoughts. We did get the Capricorn Devil, but it can also be um, other people, what, other people's opinions. Uh, it's an ending. It is an ending before you move to a new horizon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and it definitely has something to do with a stepping up game, hitting a milestone in our connection. The, uh, respect, the honor, the solidarity, making things solid and firm and committing to something, moving moving into that. Uh, and giving up some freedom, a little bit of freedom here with the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh. Changing course and building confidence to be able to do that. Let's shuffle this deck around and hold the energy on it. Get on talking to us, guys. This is for my Capricorns. Hold the energy, please. Let's get the big mama deck up here. Let's see what's going to come out. Let's move the tarot deck out of my way. There we go. It's for my Capricorn's first hand. Mm. Okay. Talk to us. Talk to us. Talk to us. We'll pop. The negative thoughts are only making things worse. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm also wanting to add in the opinions. The negative opinions. The negative, yeah. Something like opinions or the, the way they feel like people are viewing them or judging them. You're what I need. I know you're what I need. Do you even want me anymore? Project that to the to the future. They feel like because we're not in alignment, it may have you getting ready to turn and go a different direction. My friends say that I fall for it too easy. This is this shows me that this person does have peers, friends around that opinions do matter and uh, influence their choices, their way of thinking, believing. I was too afraid to tell you how much I love you. Put it in present tense. They're too afraid right now to to share their, those feelings with you. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. Keep talking to us. Yeah, they're too afraid because there's that friction going on. This person is overriding. Uh, they uh, sharing that I love and care for you more than you'll ever know. It was not just your looks that attracted me. Ooh, somebody is saying it's just, it's just sex you wanted. Please try to understand how I feel. I feel like you're not sure about what you want. Mm -hmm. You are not a maybe for me. Mm -hmm. 
Keep talking. Keep talking. There is no one else that knows me the way you do. Ooh, can we remember our connection here? You made me realize I do want more life. Y'all y'all hear me? I'm changing the words on it. I want more life. They're saying I do. I do want more. I do I do want to move forward. But there's some double standards going on somewhere in the connection. Either them or you. Please listen. We got some more standing up. I'm struggling. But I'm hoping and praying. What else? Keep talking. Capricorn's person talk to us. Pop. I want to tell you how I feel. I want you to, what was it? Please try to understand how I feel, but let me tell you how I feel. Let me express, try to express it. I have a lot of respect for you. Why haven't you responded to me? Why haven't you responded? Ooh, okay. Now let's see what else stand in that. Let's make this happen. Let's make it happen. Okay. <laughs> this person, because I'm lonely. I'm lonely without you. I would be lost without you is what I'm hearing. What else standing up here? You deserve so much more than I can give you. I'm worried I can't give enough. I act like I don't care, but I really do. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck, guys. Let's rotate the message deck so I know which side to pull from next. And let's go back to the tarot. Let's see <clears throat> what else this person wants to bring out. Like I said, what, whatever the stress factor is, whatever the friction is, because uh, we're, like I said, we're not, we're, we're go, seem, seemingly pulling in two different directions, pulling apart from each other. But in reality, just the conversation, just what come out here is this person is cooling their emotions down and grounding their self, that slow-moving Virgo uh, Knight of Pentacle energy. They just need things to go a little bit slower because they are coming into alignment of, you know what? I think I'm, I could do this. I'm right. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make it happen. So, yeah. Let's see what else they would like to bring out, guys. Right now, they're just feeling uh, emotionally, mentally um, confused. Shaking up a little bit. The ground's shaking beneath their feet. Give them a minute for them to find that uh, solid ground and let the dizziness come away from them. <laughs> What else we got? We've got a knight. No, a king of wands. Sorry, guys. That's a Leo energy. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Motivation and inspiration. Uh, but also, the confidence to choose a direction, to make a decision, and to stick with it, to make that commitment. Oh, they want to bring things back together. That's our cancer battle wagon. And that's the determination on this card up here, our very first card of, I know what I want now. I've got it fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt now. I know what I want. This person is stepping into that energy. Mm -hmm. And Ten of Wands, let's work through this. Stress card. They're willing, they're willing to attempt it. Uh-huh. Oh. Six of Cups card in nostalgia. Youthful joy. Uh can also represent children. Again, children. Children, this person most definitely is, they're, they're getting themselves ready. It just took them a minute to, to get straight about it. Let's talk on the chariot card for a minute. Tell me about the chariot card. I already know what the Leo King of Wands is, is telling me. It's, it's just, you know, he, he is about, how do I put it? It's the motivation, the inspiration, but he's spiritual, spiritual growth. Uh, inner change and the enlightenment that you need and the confidence to step into that change that's occurring within you let's talk on that six or um chariot card 
Things are chaotic and confusing. Also, with a Five of Wands energy, it's like conflict. It's just, we're trying to get things organized here. Get in sync with each other. Work together. Build this together. Um, but sometimes, uh, on a personal shadow side of a Five of Wands, you feel like you can't... You, can't really express your thoughts, your feelings, your opinions with someone because you feel like they don't care and they're not listening to you. So you should just stop sharing that. So that's something that needs to be worked on uh, when it comes to moving forward on that battle wagon, that chariot card, the determination not to give up, to pull back together and go in the same direction. And we've got a five of cups energy. Five of cups is feeling... Uh, Sometimes it makes you feel like you're, you know, you're a disappointment or you feel disappointed. It's part of grieving. It's letting go of things that life has removed from you, but also remembering where the blessings are. So this person is a little bit concerned of they're being left behind. They might be feeling like they're being left behind and, and somebody not acknowledging uh, especially coming in on five one, somebody might not be acknowledging their thoughts, their feelings, and what what they are. It's hard to explain that grieving process because you you know you might be grieving over letting go of your past, who you used to be, to step into something new. What else? Oh, they definitely don't want to lose this connection. That's the Four of Pentacles. Let's make some smart choices. Invest wisely. But also, I do not want to lose what's most precious to me, my treasure. And that would be this connection. Oh, yes. Bottom of the deck. We've got our young emperor energy. Divine masculine Aries energy. But in its youthfulness, it's just, he's just starting out, guys. Building confidence, reevaluating things, standing on the threshold of moving forward. But it takes a minute because it is a little bit of a standstill. Let's, let's think about this. Let's get clear on this. What do I need to leave behind? And what do I need to take? forward with me that would be our card of grieving what what am i going to have to of my old self do i have to let go of to step into this new energy it's about building confidence and moving forward what's up under that death card the change the change that's required scorpio death card new phase starting letting go of the past Ow, oh, yeah, and it's a turning point, Eight of Cups. And a lot of times, Eight of Cups, we call it the card of abandoning something. But it's really about reprioritizing what's truly important to you now. Now, not from the past. Right now, what's important to you and going that direction. It is a big time change transformation and change so hang with this person don't give up on them because i especially if it's resonating guys uh it's an indication that uh, the person just needed a minute to mentally and emotionally adjust to a new plan in a new direction in this connection and it feels like they really are stepping into it don't give up on them Y'all don't beat each other up too much during the friction time. Hold the energy on the deck because y'all know that can happen when we get in that twin flame friction energy. But just know we always come back together and because we went through that friction and that igniting them flames, burning off the dross with each other, it builds a tight, tight bond with each other. Mm-hmm brings us together even stronger so don't give up yet let's get on talking here talk to us Ooh, pop. i feel so torn and they may be saying that one in past tense it's more than sex yeah guys somebody was saying yes all you ever wanted <laughs> i don't know if i can let you in I would give anything to hold you. You complete me. The timing is not right. Wait, slow down. Slow down just a little bit here. Confirmation for someone. July, Cancer, and Leo energy. Leo energy 
popping in big time on this one. Whether it's your person's uh, sign or not, they are feeling in that part of their birth chart, the area of life. I'm all screwed up about this. I'm wanting to say I've been all screwed up about this. Money problems are factoring in. I feel discouraged when I see all the attention you get. Ooh, is there a lot of attention around you? And that may be the Ten of Swords energy that we got where I was saying your person and, and them standing in that Leo spotlight energy of feeling like others are judging them and thinking badly of them because in, they're trying to be authentic and, and real about I'm scared. I'm nervous. I don't, I don't, I'm uncertain about moving forward. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Here for you. Keep talking. Anything else, Capricorn's person? I'm very drawn to you. You know I am. <laughs> I'm nervous and scared. Can we say that again, guys? Listen to them. I'm nervous and I'm scared about things. This is the real me. This is the real me. Being authentic. But damn, you're irresistible. Woo! Can't resist you. Yeah, that's the, yeah. And I'm afraid to tell you right now because of all the heat between us. Hold the energy on the deck. Guys, let's go ahead and get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you a final and closing message from for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. You were getting big guns. We will take it. Tell me what. Mm -hmm. It's the light side of conversation with Connor Park. Capricorns person. Ooh, they're trying to fly off the bottom. Let's get them while we got them. You're my greatest adventure. Ooh. Fire sign, guys. With that one, it's a fire sign. Because y'all know all the one fire signs love adventure. Yes. We're never apart. I feel your energy with me always. My heart is safe with you. I'm hearing it like they're asking you a question. Is, is my heart safe with you? We'll be together again. Mm -hmm. I'm loving you with every heartbeat. You feel like home to me. Mm -hmm. You're my safe place. Ooh, love it. Your love is intoxicating. I'm getting intoxicated with the escapism trying to get past this. I can't help but be in love with you. Oh, Capricorns, that was our last one, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.